Welcome back to the channel, everyone, and another hot, steamy day out here on Piney Grove. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Brad, and we have 20 acres out here in North Florida that we're developing. But today's video is about moving this tree behind me. So a couple of weeks ago, I came out here to the property after a storm, and it's North Florida. We get a lot of hurricanes and stuff, but we're inland about an hour, so we don't get really, really high winds, even from a hurricane. What we do get is these microburst thunderstorms from the humidity in the Gulf and then the inland heating of the land. And we get these pretty major thunderstorms. They come through here and this oak tree just couldn't handle the last one. So as you can see, it's over top of our fence line. And luckily it didn't crush the fence too bad. I've got both Kubotas out here, the tractor and the mini excavator to try and get this off the fence without damaging it. But first I have to assess and see what I got to cut first, where I can pick up with the excavator because it can't pick up the whole tree. So luckily this elbow right here saved the tree from crushing the fence. The fence is barely dented, but this is a good size oak tree. You can see it was rotten there. It's rotten in the trunk. So I think what I'm gonna do is grab it with the excavator right here make a cut right here, let that part fall down, and deal with this little bit of the stump, and then deal with the rest of the tree in chunks. Because our KX71 is a mini excavator, it can probably only lift a little bit over a thousand pounds, so I don't want to have chunks of this tree that it can't pick up. First thing I'll do is cut these limbs right here so I can get the excavator on this side of the tree, and then work on the trunk. Another wrinkle in the plan is that this big limb on this side is over the fence. So I gotta get over there and cut that limb so that when I cut the big trunk, that doesn't mess up the fence. So I'm under strict orders from Mrs. Piney Grove not to overheat myself. So I'm gonna try and do minimal chainsaw work and do most of the work with the hydraulics on the excavator and the tractor. So the saw I'll be using today is the Steel MS241C. It's their pro model lightweight saw, 18 inch bar. And because we're a small farm and we don't use wood for heat, we don't use a chainsaw a lot, but we definitely need one out here on Piney Grove. So that's enough to get the excavator in here. I don't want to mess with the balance of the tree, so I'm going to leave it like that for a while until I get this trunk figured out. Okay, this is a dangerous cut. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared about it, but I've got the weight of the trunk on that side of the fence held up by the excavator. The excavator won't lift up the whole tree. When I cut this, it's gonna wanna violently come down, so I'm gonna make sure I'm out of the way. It was too much to ask of that KX71 to lift that, so I had to go on the other side and cut that off shorter. It ended up crushing the fence, but there was nothing I can do. I guess in hindsight, it could have cut it really short, but that would have created its own set of problems.
Okay, that's all of that whole tree that the excavator can lift. So I'm gonna cut it where this fork is. With all that weight hanging this way, all that should fall safely to the right. So that did not go exactly as planned. I still crushed the fence a little, but I didn't crush it all the way. And I did get the big trunk of the tree off there. If I'm being honest, that tree weighed way more than I thought. And it was way more in those big chunks than the excavator could handle. But it's off there, it's off there safely. And neither me nor the equipment got hurt. I think all this can get picked up with the excavator. It's cut in like 10 and 12 foot lengths. All right, guys it's all cleaned up it really didn't take that long had a little bit of rainstorm there but i will say we've already done a video on how much we've used that excavator out here at piney grove and today's video was a prime example of just how valuable that piece of machinery is to our farm out here now we do have a tractor i don't have a grapple but i do have chains and hooks on my bucket and i could have cut this tree up in a lot smaller pieces and then try to maneuver it around with the tractor but that would have took me forever and even with a a grapple, it still wouldn't have been as efficient and as, I guess, precise as using the excavator to clean this up. So another win for Precious, our KX71 Kubota excavator. You can see I'm out of breath. Even though I was on the excavator, did a little bit of chainsaw work, it was just kind of nerve wracking, you know, dealing with those big pieces of wood and the excavator at some point was tipping because it was too heavy, but we got it all done. We were safe, protected our equipment, protected ourselves and at the end of the day, the job is done and, and uh, every, everyone survived. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up at the bottom. Comment down below, we'd love to hear from you. But otherwise, that's all I've got. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care out there, y'all.